Have you ever thought about whether everything written in history is true? There are a lot of stories and theories we have heard and read all over the world. But among all these, there are a few which absolutely stand out. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the top conspiracies that shock the world. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notifications of our videos. At The Bestest, we provide you with a lot of interesting facts and pieces even from the deepest parts of the internet. Today's episode is all about the different conspiracies that surely interest you in one way or the other. So hold on to your phones or at the edge of your seats when watching this video. Your mind is about to be blown away. Number 7 on our list, we have The Moon Landing Hoax. You heard that right. A film titled Capricorn 1 shows American astronauts and NASA faked a Mars landing. Despite this being a mediocre film, the idea behind it was interesting enough to awaken a theory and conspiracy about the moon landing back in 1969 made by Apollo 11. We have heard of this and even read about how Neil Armstrong became the first man on the moon. But Capricorn 1's stimulating idea encouraged Fox to air a television program called Conspiracy Theory, Did We Land on the Moon? The program consisted of rehashing a lot of discredited discrepancies between the official version of the moon landing and photographs of the landing. It became a worldwide and popular conspiracy that made the whole world watch every step NASA takes. Do you believe that the moon landing was faked? If so, how do you think NASA pulled that elaborate stunt off? But the bestest is just beginning. Stay until the end of this video to find out what the most shocking conspiracy is in our list. At number 6, we have the assassination of John F. Kennedy. We all know how the 35th President of the United States of America was killed in a Dallas motorcade back in 1963. Conspiracy theorists, not all but most, have kept acknowledging the fact that the great president was murdered by Lee Harvey Oswald. Some sources even say he was shot from a book depository. This conspiracy, like the moon landing hoax, managed to spawn a long list of speculations in the forms of books, articles, and even films. There were a lot of questions surrounding the death of President John F. Kennedy. Was there a second assassin? Were they against Fidel Castro? Are they working for a huge organized crime boss? We may never know the answers to such questions, but one thing is for sure. The Warren Commission has already reached the conclusion that Lee Harvey Oswald was indeed acting alone back in 1979. Even with the lack of evidence, the House Select Committee on Assassinations also suggested that the existence of another shooter was plausible. There are still a lot of theories that come up when you dig around the internet for more information on this one. Meanwhile, conspiracies surrounding number 5, Paul McCartney's death, also made it to this list. The theories that have been going around was the fact that the Beatles guitarist died in 1966. However, the band and other members involved with the Beatles decided to keep his death a secret. They even went so far as to hire someone who looks like Paul McCartney just to take his place in the band. This was the twisted conspiracy that went around in the late 1960s. The conspirators even took a lot of great leaps just to keep the press and the public from the fact that Paul was dead. However, they wanted the fans to know of his demise. They did this by leaving random clues in album covers in their music which speaks about his death. Some fans have found these clues and when they confronted the Beatles, the band kept denying that fact. Although a lot of public denial statements have been released by the band, the fans couldn't just leave it alone and fend off for themselves to search for more clues. And at number 4, we have the big pharma conspiracies you definitely would be interested in. Almost half of the population hates drug companies. 
Basically, a lot of people love to hate big pharma or the drug industry. We know how much they take too much out of our wallet at the slightest sign of a fever. However, some conspiracy theorists have noticed how a drug that once was officially claimed safe is immediately removed and discontinued as soon as news of the patient's death goes out to the press and the public. This is just among the reasons why the whole industry is looked upon with suspicion. The biggest conspiracy we may have heard is how these drugs keep people sick just for the sake of profits. In addition to making profits, an author also claims that the drug industry may be in cahoots with medical establishments. How they keep important medical information hidden is beyond all of us. But we're just halfway through. The various conspiracies involving the big pharma. The most intriguing conspiracy would be how childhood vaccines are linked to autism. Imagine that. We bet that's a plot twist you didn't expect. Are you with us so far? Is there really a possibility that vaccines could be the reason behind autism? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 We won't know for sure, but what we do know is that the number one conspiracy will make you doubt everything the media says. So we suggest you watch until the end to quench your interest for this knowledge. However, at number three, we have more than enough theories about subliminal advertising. We have heard this term from multiple platforms. You're surely familiar with it. Some of you may even not notice it, but you may have been a victim of subliminal advertising. This conspiracy was immediately discredited as soon as books about it were released. Despite the books claiming how subliminal messages in advertising are becoming rampant and damaging, no company would admit to ever using such a tactic. The popularity of this conspiracy was made clear in the 1980s as a lot of people expressed concerns by the subliminal messages spread by bands like Styx and Judas Priest. This reached a new level when Judas Priest was sued in 1990 for allegedly causing a teen suicide through subliminal messages. However, the case was dismissed. But this conspiracy did arrive to a point where it was parodied by a television show called Max Headroom in the 1980s. What you should take note of is the fact that people have claimed subliminal advertising to exist, but we still don't know what companies use this in addition to some of their marketing and advertising strategies. In number two, we do have something involving satanic cults. The conspiracy started with an increase of child abuse cases throughout the 1980s up until the early 1990s. This horrified America. However, the victims of these cases accused adults of ritual rape and torture as well. The accusations often involved the terms Satanism in them, which would sound odd since you'd first think it didn't exist. We all thought that was it until the infamous Devil Worship Exposing Satan's Underground was aired in 1988. There were a lot of misleading information and inaccurate statistics aired on the show, but that didn't stop people from believing it doesn't exist. After all, it did become the largest viewership for a documentary in television history. Claims of an organized satanic conspiracy which involved killing babies, the murder of innocent people, and even ghostly rituals were spread throughout the world just by this one documentary. You may think that the whole show went overboard, but there is evidence that proves the existence of satanic cults. It gets even worse when news of cannibalism and kidnapping went around the same time the satanic cults conspiracies began. But not everyone believes this. An associate professor of anthropology refers to this conspiracy as something that constitutes the greatest hoax perpetrated upon the American people in the 20th century. We really wonder if this was true. Do you believe satanic cults existed? If you do, share your thoughts with us in the comment section below after you hear about the number one conspiracy theory around. 
Stick around for more bestest videos, and once again, hit the bell button to receive our latest updates. But we shouldn't just disregard a few other conspiracies that we didn't highlight in today's episode. After all, there are still a few honorable mentions to go around. The Protocols of the Elders of Zion is also something that just might grind your gears. Wouldn't you want to know more about this book that reveals a Jewish conspiracy for people domination? We thought that was something that only existed in films, but what if it was something that's really happening and we just don't know about it? Or even the Roswell crash cover-up. This may just be the thing that's hidden in the impenetrable fort that we all call Area 51. We don't know for sure if an extraterrestrial saucer was found, but is there really a way to know the truth if everything about it was covered up? It's up to you to find out. And now, what is the most shocking, most interesting, and the most unbelievable conspiracy that deserves the top spotlight? Hold on to your phones because at number one, we have the 9-11. A lot of reports and evidence leads us to the conclusion that way back September 11, 2001, the Islamic terrorist group Al-Qaeda was involved. What we do know for sure was the fact that two planes were flown into the twin towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. We even heard about a third plane that struck the Pentagon just outside Washington, D.C. But that's not all. A fourth plane also crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. You could look at it in different ways, but conspirators have acknowledged how this isn't just some mere coincidence. Conspiracies around have believed that this involved a lot of people and took a long time to plan. The word inside job was thrown a lot. But who was involved? Who among the trusted officials in office at this time helped Osama bin Laden carry out this ghoulish and tragic plan that caused the lives of thousands. Do you actually believe that this was just another accident? Are plane crashes really that ordinary to make us immediately believe that this did not involve a lot of planning and coordination? Or are we just going to accept the fact that Al-Qaeda was really that good at planning it by themselves? We won't know for sure. But this tragic incident surely strengthened everyone as the whole world locked its eyes on their screen, watching the same thing. The Best has provided you with only a few bits and pieces for you to piece together. There are still a lot of conspiracies out there for you to know more and find out. If you do find something or even more conspiracies for us to discuss, then let us know. We just might make a second video with our suggested conspiracies. So what are you waiting for? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.